What's going on, Orbis X family? Quick update here to show you how you can add percentage admin fees or shop fees or whatever you want to call it to estimates as well as invoices, as well as how to label the admin fee or shop fee or literally whatever you want to call it uh, in your settings. So first to show you where this would be found, we can do this on invoices as well as quotes and estimates. So I'll start with invoices just to show you and I'll open up one of these test invoices here that we have and I'll scroll down. This is where you add in your line items for the invoice. Uh, so on here, you'll see a percent shop fee. Now this will be defaulted to admin fee, but you can change the label to whatever you want. And I would click this button. Let's say we add a 5% uh, overhead. Then I can say, you know, 5% admin fee for handling your car with care. Smiley face, whatever you want to type there. Add line item. It will then calculate what the 5% is of all the other line items that you have. And then it will add that line item for you. Now, of course, if you change your invoice and add different things, you'll need to remove this line item and re-add it to calculate the percentage based on what else you've added or removed. Uh, so usually this would be done at the end of your invoice and you would add that on to calculate the percentage. Uh, there is a way to set a fixed fee as well, uh, which I'll show you, which is also found under settings uh, where you can change this label here. And I'll show you where that is in a moment. But just to show you, it's the exact same on quotes and estimates. So if I go quotes and estimates and I pull up one that we have here that's a test, I'll scroll down to this here, which is the recommended option. And I have beside dimensional pricing, I have shop fee. And similarly, if I click shop fee, I can do 10%, for example, and I'll just say admin fee. And you can change this label anytime, uh, admin fee, and then add line item, boom, there you go. It's all calculated up, automatically adds my taxes and life is good. Uh, so how do you change the label that shows up? Uh, so that would be under admin settings. And then once we're in settings, a few ways to get there, you can always type in admin fee, and then it'll show up here and you can change the name. Uh, but the other way to get there is I'll exit out of that. I'll go jump to deposits and invoices. It's going to scroll me down under invoices. You're going to see admin fee label. And this says, enter the text you want to default to for the admin fee line item label on invoices and estimates. And this is where right now I've got it set to shop fee, but you can change this to anything you want. It could be admin fee or it could be admin charge, whatever you want to call this. Uh, so you can call this anything you want. For now, I'm going to call this shop fee. And then right above that, you'll see invoice admin fee. And this is where you can set a fixed dollar amount if you want. And that will automatically apply when creating an invoice. It will automatically add that on as the first line item. Uh, and to show you what that looks like, let's just say we have a $5 admin fee. Uh, then I'll go to invoices and I'm going to go create a new one. And so from here, let's go new invoice. And then that's going to automatically add, as you can see, shop fee, administration fee for processing five dollars uh, so it automatically adds that in for me and that's because i've set this here in settings invoice admin fee to five dollars if i remove that because we don't want that in our demo account uh, so essentially you can change your admin fee label and that will then change what shows up whenever you're on an invoice let me go back here when you're on an invoice and you see this button here it'll say whatever you've called it so whether it's shop fee admin fee admin charge uh, could be anything right overhead you could call this anything um, so essentially you'll be able to click that it'll show the label here but you can change it per invoice if you want and then you can enter the percentage enter in some text and then hit add line item and that will be it so anyways that's how you can add your admin fees or shop fees or what have you in both formats either fixed or percentage on the fly as well enjoy